the four eyes control the camera. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is something a little bit different because I am still sick and really can't vape. It's not enjoyable, so I thought instead of having no videos up, I'd put this video up. Alright guys, so if you didn't know, you'll know now that I've been sick this last past week. I started coming down with the super cold on Tuesday and woke up like Wednesday feeling like death and Thursday and Friday was just miserable. So today is the first day, it was like felt like I could put some makeup on. Having a pretty bad brow day, decided to just cover up with my glasses. And yes, these are prescription glasses. I know it's been like a million years since I wore my glasses in a video and there's a couple thousand of you guys that were not here before that have probably never seen me wear them but yes they're prescription glasses i just want to show you because i get asked all the time if they're fashion or prescription i am legally blind in my left eye if my camera will focus doesn't want to focus you can see just how thick the glasses lens is on my left eye compared to my right eye um uh, look at it like sticks out of the freaking frames and this is like the thinnest glass they could do for my prescription. I don't know if I'm actually even talking loud enough. For some reason, just today, like, my voice has been out and I can talk louder if I talk lower, but then I feel like I sound very manly, so. Uh, <laughs> I just had a really bad cold and I've been coughing so much, like, my throat and my, like, abdomen muscles, whatever muscles you use to cough are so sore, like, I don't have a six pack, but I might after this cold. I'm just kidding, that's like a far stretch. But anyways, yes, I wanted to unbox my very first designer bag with you guys. This is something I never thought I would be into. I was always like, I cannot believe it. My hairdresser, she like really got me into it. Not on purpose, just by like coexisting with me. I just kind of like, you know, I felt it like I was like I now I need this but like when I first started seeing her I was like girl I cannot believe you'll pay over a hundred dollars for a purse and in that time she had you know the same designer purses were still in good condition and I probably went through 50 cheaper purses like I'll get my purses at like JCPenney's or Shopco you know $70 or less and that's $70 that's me spending a lot on a purse and I literally just this between like Oh, when did I get it? Maybe July, August, I bought the same purse from Shopco three times because it ripped, but I loved the purse and the design and all the pockets were perfect for my lifestyle. So I bought that same purse three times because the middle zippers would just rip out and not like the inside little zippers, but like the main zippers of the purse would just rip out. And so finally I was like, you know what? At the end of the year, I was like, I'm gonna treat myself. I really, and been going to see my hairdresser, you know, once or twice a month, and she's always got these nice bags. They're just so good quality, and they always hold up, and they're so cute. And finally, I was like, okay, I really, really wanna get one, but it's really hard for me to spend that much money on a purse, because I used to believe, like, that's so ridiculous. And like with any designer or name brand anything, there's gonna be people who like a certain, or don't like a certain, you know, like, you're either iPhone or Android. You know, you either like Louis Vuitton, or Gucci, or Coach, or Michael Kors. So this was just my first one and I wanted to find one on sale, one that was in my price range because for my first designer purse I didn't want to like spend over $300. Honestly I didn't really want to spend over $200 but with taxes this purse I'm going to show you came out to a little over $200. And also I got to kind of try out the brand before I bought it because my hair girl Jazz, oh she is so amazing. Girl if you are watching, I love you. Sometimes she watches my videos, not all the time because she doesn't vape all the time. But I did give her a vape for when she ever got tempted, you know, to smoke a cig with her cig friends. But she let me borrow this huge purse. So this is the brand that I got. I got a Michael Kors. This is my little fluffy keychain that I got from uh, Hollywood when I went on my honeymoon, but this is actually my borrow one. This is like a three year old purse, she, she said. I have no idea what the name is or anything. I uh, know a little bit about the dimensions because I measured it to get a bag a little bit smaller than this one, but I really like it and has one big open purse and some pockets inside. And if you guys want me to do a what's in my purse video, let me know and I can show you guys what's in my purse 
doesn't always change I kind of carry around the same things but it has like these feet and I like that and it's just it's such a really nice leather so this is the purse I've been bar borrowing from her and she said that I could borrow it before I went and purchased my own to know that it's what I really want which I thought that was so nice of her <sighs> I'm like running out of breath <coughs> and coughing so much. I'm like cutting out all of my coughs when I edit this video. Anyways, I got mine. So because it was, I bought it like the day before Christmas for myself, it did take a while to get to me because of all of the holidays. You got Christmas and you got New Year's, but it did come. And like I said, I got one a little bit smaller dimensions than that one because that one's a little too big. Like I love it because I can just fit everything in there, but it is just a little too big. And I need to learn how to like not carry everything but the kitchen sink in my purse so here it is I was so excited and I was gonna throw away this box but you guys know how weird I am with unboxings and stuff because the box says Michael Kors so now and here it is I haven't even like I've had it for a couple days I have not even done anything to it because I wanted to share this moment with you guys because it's really exciting for me so here it is finally get rid of that I'm so excited. So this is the Geneva Large Satchel and it is I believe 4 inches deep and 11 inches this way and then I can't remember how many high because that's not really important to me. I just care about the depth and the uh, width here. Anyways, let's open it up and look, Taz came to sit by me. Oh, I totally disregarded. I have not finished like what's going to be behind me, but I did decide for the new year I wanted to change it up and not sit on any stools because I've been sitting on these stools I got um, for my film room and so now you can't really see the boxes, the little uh, shadow boxes I have anymore, but I wanted to change it up for 2017. I was getting tired of like perching on those stools so I got a little leather futon it like folds out so I mean whenever I have company if I have more company than my couches can sleep then they can come in here and sleep on this so it's like a two for one anyways all right I noticed that this paper has the MK logo on it I thought that was cool make sure there's nothing in there Taz is over there in the box now. Oh, and look at this. Stop stressing me out. I love this shirt. Oh my gosh, here it is. So it's not the same type of leather as this one, which I kind of would want it to be. So once I, if I decide like I want to get another one, which I'll always probably get black because they match everything. I like this hard leather. I think this is called Saffion leather. That's really hard and it just stays its shape. This one's more of a softer pebbled leather. Um, but let's go. So see that's something I didn't know. Like I didn't know what pebble leather meant. Now I do know. And so next time I would definitely want the hard leather like that stuff that just holds its shape. Oh, and I did get, it has um, a silver zipper and silver metal pieces and then these long little legs on the bottom. I love it. And it has to say Michael Coors, you know, it's so bougie. No, you guys, I know. Some people are probably like, girl, I can't believe you spent that much in a purse. And you know what? A year ago, I was that person. But I'm just so sick of buying the same purses over and over again when I really like them. Now, I just, this one, this purse will last me forever. Like I said, that one she let me borrow, three years old. I feel like I'm not talking loud enough. And this one does come with these little um, keychain clips. They're not keychains, but I don't know if I'll keep them on because I like my keychain. I like my little puffy kitty ear keychain. Oh my goodness, they really package everything up, don't they? And all the, the zippers even have little covers on them. And the zippers say Michael Kors. Oh my gosh, I love it. So yeah, I could take this off and put my own little thing on, which I mean, sadly, I think I'm gonna do. Oh no, look. There's one right here, yay! I mean, the clippy of my little puffy guy doesn't match, but I love my little puffy guy. And let's see, open it up. Oof, it's got all this stuff in it. Oh yeah, here is the cross body strap, which is was also a necessity for me. And it does have a dust bag. This is the dust bag, so you put it in this 
when you don't want to use it so it stays nice and doesn't get all dusty. And here is the inside, so it's the tag on it. So it does have the little, um, they call this a dog leash or something, right? Isn't that weird? I don't know what it's for. If you know what it's for, let me know. <coughs> and it does have this little magnetic pouch back here. Don't know what I'm gonna put in it because my, my phone is too big for that. But this is like the perfect size for me. I love it. Oh my gosh, I did not ever think there was gonna be this much unwrapping with the purse. I mean, why? Is it all of this wrapping necessary? Okay, so that hook was actually for the crossbody strap, so. And it is adjustable, but oh yes. This is like normally how I like to carry my purses, but this actually is a pretty good size where I can just fit it like that. So here it is, my first ever designer bag. I'm so excited. I'm gonna fill it up now. But um, okay, so probably what some of you are wondering, this purse is normally $338, but it was on sale a super sale for $198 and um, with tax, because it's free shipping on Michael Kuhler's website, and with tax it was $214 something. So all in total, free shipping, this was $214 and I'm super excited. It's just the right size. Um, some things that I will probably be doing differently if I ever get another one, which I mean if I like it already, probably will. Not for probably like, I'll probably get one next year, you know. This is like a one or twice a year type of purchase, holy crap. But I definitely want more inside pockets because there is only one, um, but that's fine. And then this outside pocket and also definitely getting the hard Safion leather like this one. So this video has gone a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I didn't realize how much unpacking came with a designer handbag. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below if you have a favorite designer handbag brand or what you use. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'm open to more brands than just Michael Kors. I know my cousin, she does like Rebecca Minkoff, I think, and um, Kate Spade versus so, I mean, I'm not opposed to any of those other brands. This was just the one that I was like exposed to firsthand for the first time. And so I'm really excited to use it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And hopefully, I don't know, today my voice was so bad. I don't know if I can say next week I'll have vape videos because I can, <coughs> I can barely talk through this video. But um, hopefully I'll have some vape videos for you guys in next week. And if not, then I will be sure to make sure and upload some fun and, you know, entertaining videos while I'm too sick to vape because vaping will not be fun right now. It's not smooth and enjoyable. Oh, that's what I needed. Wet my whistle. Not spawns. Oh, by the way, anybody wants to know my favorite winter time, actually any time of the year, I usually just get it hot or cold depending on the time of year. My favorite all-time drink from Starbucks is a chai tea latte with coconut milk. Let me know also down in the comments what your favorite designer purse brand is and your favorite Starbucks drink. Or if you don't use designer purses like I never did up until now, then just tell me what your favorite Starbucks drink is and if you don't drink Starbucks. Tell me which favorite animal is. <laughs> okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, this is not a normal like energy video or normal vaping video, but um, or normal background or nothing. Everything's different. What is going on? I hope you guys enjoyed. Forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.